All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, Bloxy Gamer, Slendy Tubbies. Okay. <laughs> uh, that one meme. Iravi. Spoderman, how's it going? Rua Fair Stone. Gesture M. Matt. Ma TZ. Matt's. Hold on, I still gotta. Still gotta fix some stuff. Yeah, today we're gonna be doing a flipping dog toy. I don't know if any of you have, uh. Like, it's a really old thing, like, super old toy. They probably still sell it, though, because it's, uh, it, it's an amusing thing. It used to be, like, a little wind-up toy that all it does is just go bark, 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 sit down, and then flip, like, does a backflip, land on all of its feet, and then, uh, you know, just repeat. Uh, now I'm sure they have, like, battery-operated stuff. Hello, Mr. Partisan, little kitty crafter. Okay, so I loaded in with a bunch of mods. I don't think I'm gonna need any though. Well, I might, uh, I might eventually end up building it with the polygons. So let's try to build our prototype then, just with, just with some light blocks. Uh, I guess, like, I'm gonna try to build it as vanilla as I possibly can first. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the whole bark, 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 bark. I'm just gonna focus on the back flipping aspect. Hey, Kerr, how's it going? And then we'll worry about making it look like a dog later on. Yeah. Hmm. We might run into the problem that it's not actually... We might have to use, like, a smart engine for this. Alright, well, let's start with, um... I guess we're just gonna start with this as a body. Or maybe I can build it out of ultra lights. No, I have to use the smart engine because it's the, the controller is not going to be fast enough. There is like a way that I can edit the blueprint to speed up the controller, but no, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I need to I need to jump right into the smart engine right away. Which means I'm going to need some number logic stuff. Maybe some memory panels. Hmm. I don't think I'll need any of this. I'll try to build it just as close to the toy as possible. Like, I'm not going to build a, a, you know, fancy AI thing that'll try to align itself. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's all that I really need. And of course, I'm building it in the flat world. So, um... Yeah. We'll eventually get, uh... We'll eventually try, it, like, the final product in the terrain world. Just to make sure that, uh... You know, that, that we can sell this product. Alright, so let's start with, um... Just a prototype body. Uh... Uh, hold on. Okay, this is gonna be my prototype dog body. Um, now I just need four legs, and those are gonna be on bearings. I don't think the front actually needs to be on bearings. I think we're good on that. So let's just build leg one. Jeez, it's gotta be, it's gotta be really tall, I think. Is it just me or is the stream gone? Um, Everything seems to be fine on my end. It might have had like some hiccups near the start, but Everything seems fine now. If you're having problems, just refresh. And I know if you're having problems, you're not gonna hear me say... You're not gonna hear me say that, so... People in chat, just tell them to refresh if there's anyone complaining. Okay. So that might actually be a little bit long. 
We'll push our luck with that. All right, a couple bearings for the back legs. So we're gonna start then with the standing position. And then, uh, yeah, okay. And then we'll get the controller or the smart controller, I guess. We'll get that in, um, I guess I gotta put that in the back. So it already has like 10,000 power by default. I don't need to worry about setting the power level. Uh, but I do need to worry about setting custom angles and I'm gonna do that with I guess just a memory panel. Let's grab some of those number blocks so that I can see what I'm setting. We're gonna put a display here for the time being. Okay. Can the music be a uh, big, softer? Sure. If this works out, how about a flipping duck? Uh, maybe. I have audio, but no video. Oh. Well, no, video is definitely playing, and everything is. 100% on my end. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I do need a paint tool. Don't think I'm gonna need anything else. Alright, we'll paint you. Paint you. Um... Let's see. Let's see. I think what I can do is... Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a white number to set the speed. Okay, okay, so I... All right, so what, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a sensor trigger the different steps and I'm gonna have it slowly go between each step, but then as soon as it gets to a certain step, it's gonna bump up the speed like crazy. So this will just be a measure. Th this uh, sensor here will let me know when the leg, when the dog is actually sitting. Is that how a dog sits? That's not how a dog sits. But I will be able to put a sensor here. Okay. And then that's going to trigger a tick button for the next step, which is this. So this is going to be the main memory panel controller right here. So right now we're in position zero. And position zero is going to be... Um, zero, I guess. Okay, and let's also get a button to write our number to memory. Okay. Uh, let's get you down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so memory slot one. Oh wait, I also have to set the speed of the engine. Um, we can stick that over here. Okay, so the speed will set it to, I think this is in degrees per second. 
So let's try 10. Do you record multiplayer Monday on Sunday? Um, seeing as how multiplayer Monday premieres very early on Monday, and we have to do recording, editing, uploading, YouTube stuff. Like, there's a bunch of stuff. G generally, we do it uh, late Sunday. It's kind of like a last minute thing, if you ask me. I'd prefer if we recorded it, like, last week. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. It's mostly because I, I really don't like editing and I procrastinate that a lot. Like today, I just finished editing a challenge mode video, and uh, I didn't even bother rendering the video. Rendering, that takes a long time too, depending on how long the video is or how much editing you did. But yeah, I didn't bother edit, uh, rendering the video. Instead, I just decided to stream. So after the stream, I'm gonna go render the video and do some other stuff. Can you increase your field of view? Um, I can. Yes, that is a thing that I could do. Hold on, now my stream is actually complaining like I'm get sending a low bitrate. No, nope, it's fine all of a sudden. Anywho. So we set uh, 10 degrees per second. Now we gotta set step one. We're gonna set this to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 80 degrees. Write that in. That's step 80. Okay. And then... When this activates... We also want it to activate... Um... Oh, wait a second. How am I gonna do this? We'll do step two, and we'll set that as one. Okay, so now I have the value of one there, so whenever, whenever that's equal to one, Uh, I guess I also need to write another one value here. There's probably like a little bit of an easier way of doing this. But I'm just gonna keep a, a one value. I could just use a counter block. <laughs> I could, I could literally just use a counter block. There's the value of one. Okay, so whenever this memory panel output is equal to one then we're going to um oh i wonder if i could just have multiple white inputs and they'll just like add together i hope that's the case because then hmm Cause then I can multiply- oh wait, why am I- It's weird. I wasn't holding control. That's- that's actually a weird quirk of how the math blocks work. So I was just stuck in here, like normally you press control to cycle backwards through the math block. But I actually wasn't holding control. But because I was like, force crouched, it was cycling me back. Anyway, so we're gonna times one by uh, another number that we're just gonna store here. And this is going to be, oops, this is going to be a value of, oh, you know, it'd probably help if I connected it, right? 300, 400, 500, sure, we'll just go with that. All right, and then this is what we'll just add into here. Actually, you know what? You know what? Well, let's see if that's how it works, first of all. If it doesn't work, then I'll just have to put like a, a an addition block and then just connect both of these. It's like super simple fix. All right. 
So all of that, all of that's good to go. So then how do I tell when it's back? Oh, I, I, I'm triggering that sensor. That's a bad thing. Okay. Let's bring you back. So if it goes, there we go. That would be the flipping motion. Uh, then how do I tell when it's done flipping? I need another sensor, yet another sensor to tell if the legs are back into position, I think. Okay, so then if... We'll stick the sensor like right under here. Okay, so if this is on and... And, and what? And this is on. Okay, so we just need an AND gate. A regular old AND gate. Maybe we'll stick it over here. I just realized this is gonna probably mess up the way that my dog sits. Okay. So if this is on and this is on, which they are currently because yeah, we're going to get a tick button, I guess. I mean, I, I, I guess I don't actually need a tick button, but we're going to connect it over here anyway. White button to the counter block here, which resets the sequence back to zero. Perfect, okay. So let's try this. Um, 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 reset. <laughs> okay, there we go. Dog, take a seat. You are sitting. You, you did not do the thing that you were supposed to do. Why did you not do that? I, wait, what? Oh, you know what? I didn't actually connect the, uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Stop. Stop your freakish. Okay, so I have the, the white setting. Now I just need to uh, set this, there we go, the degrees to the dog. And let's make sure the thing is actually reset. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, well, you're not gonna do the thing anymore? What are you supposed to be on right now? You're supposed to be on zero. Do we just, do we just hop in front of you to get you started? I guess so. Okay, I'll fix that later, I guess. Well, <laughs> he tried. It was a jump, but it wasn't, um, wasn't quite a backflip. How do those toys do it? Wow, seriously, how do those toys do it? Like, I don't want to cheat by putting any, like, reaction wheel in the center or anything. And it got back and reset the sequence. That was fine. Starting the sequence, though. I guess I'll... I guess I'll put a switch on it or something. Or, um, we'll just put a tick button in the front. And all that does is start the sequence. Ooh. 
Right. It's supposed to do it continuously. So... I'm failing to do something here. There we go. That should be everything. What? Whoa! <laughs> it's already trying to backflip. Okay, so now it's repeating, which is nice. I think what I have to do is actually move this sensor to its foot. And that'll be that'll be detecting if it uh, if it has landed correctly. Only then will it actually reset the sequence, because before it was just resetting when the leg was actually uh, you know back. Oh, that actually starts it too. Oh, I, you know, I don't think that I, um, I don't think that I fixed the range on this. There we go. Okay, off the lift. Yeah, the front legs go forward. What, what? The front legs? The front legs actually move on the, on the dog? I guess they would, right? Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Let's try, <laughs> let's try that then. It'll look a little weird. You know what? That has some promise to it. That has some promise to it. Although... Although, I kind of want to give this... Like... It, this is like a 90 degree offset. I want to give it less than a 90 degree offset. So I think I need another... I think I need another engine for that. Put the engine over here, and we're gonna put literally whatever the back legs are, but like plus 45 degrees. So whatever the back legs are, plus, oh, you will also feed in the, the the white thing by the way seems to work exactly how I thought it did they just add together so I don't need an extra addition block where's my tick button there it is okay we'll just add like 30 and then now we can build the front legs downwards We might actually have to do a uh, negative 30 or some other number that I that I'll figure out soon enough. That is weird. It's weird and creepy like a gazelle. Not that gazelles are weird and creepy or anything, but hold on. I thought I was, uh... I thought I was adding stuff. Right?
Yeah, I'm definitely adding 30 degrees. So currently it's 10 degrees. Why is it currently 10? Because it's 80? Oh, oh. So then 80 plus 30 is... What the heck? 110 degrees? No, oh, it's supposed to be that way. What? <laughs> what? Durf, dude, do you know if the getting over it mods still work? No, they don't. No, I, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to update that. Whenever I publish a mod, I put the uh, the game version included in the uh, like the instructions Durf the rear is static and the front legs do the job I definitely don't think so I mean if you see the thumbnail the no way it's definitely the back legs that do the flipping I'm pretty sure so like I might just have to add a lot of weights to the back but I want the front legs to be, like, a little bit more forward. So let's try reducing this, I guess. Oh. Oh, oh, wait. I guess I also want to reduce it by another 90? Stop going in that direction. I mean, that's really close to a backflip, but like... Okay, well now it's not... I don't even know what, um, I don't even know what exactly I want the front legs to do right now. Right now, they're just copying the back legs. But <laughs> Apparently, the rear legs are staric. No. No, 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 no. Let me see if I can find a picture. The, the picture that I used. Just ignore that. There we go. That's the picture. Can't... Whatever. I don't really have to zoom in for that for you to see, right? The back legs are definitely the... It's not the front legs, right? It's the back legs. Unless, like, I went into some, like, bizarro universe.
it's most definitely the 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 back legs that Okay, yeah, I understand that you can make a thing back for, so then I could just put in pistons for the front legs and make it push off and make it do a backflip. Yeah, I could definitely do that, but no. I'm guessing you don't want to use thrusters. No, no thrusters, no reaction wheels, no anti-gravity. I just want to make the, the toy that I just showed you guys. Lol, it's the Berenstein universe. <laughs> I know, right? Berenstain bears? Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. That can't be the real name. Alright. I think what I actually need is just a, a separate sequence for the front legs. And I'm just being lazy. It's not even supposed to be... Hold on, it's not even supposed to be activating again. Let's just not give the front any sequence. And, uh... Let's make the back legs a little bit longer, I guess? I think, yeah. We're gonna make the back legs so long. That sh I, I might be that, like, my body is too long as well. Alright. Straight into the logic gate. There we go. Okay. We'll try this. I don't know why the sequence is, like, starting automatically. Hey, look at that. It shouldn't be starting. Oh, my God. That was, like, the legit backflip that I needed. Except I don't know why now it's... It was working just fine before. I don't know why it's starting the sequence all over again. Like, mid-air. It's not supposed to be doing that. Reset. Oh, yeah, it's starting the sequence because that popped it over to sequence one. Okay, okay, let's let's review this logic a little bit. Let's also stick a, a number gate so that I can see. Well, I can't see what state uh, the, the memory panel's in. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Yes, I can, because there is a thing that's activating that. Um, let's, let's move this. Back one. Okay, so right now it's... Oh. Alright. Alright. Okay. Wait, why are you one? Why are you still one? Zero. Okay. Uh... Okay, one. And as soon as this sensor triggers, it jumps. Two. And then it's back to one. Why is it back to one? Is it because this is still triggering? Or is it like it somehow triggers twice? It definitely should not. But now that the legs are longer, I can definitely... Um, 
I can definitely move this sensor back over to where it was before. Just like somewhere over here. That goes to the next sequence. Oh, you know what? I can make this uh, I can make this build a little bit more efficient just by removing this and connecting the sensor here. Okay. Okay, you're not supposed to be one block off the ground. You, you why why are you at one? <laughs> why are you at one? Maybe the sensors on the feet are triggering again right when it jumps. Oh. You know what? You're right about that. You're probably right about that. Huh. What can I do about that, other than adding like yeah, a, a, another step in the sequence? But that doesn't explain why- hold on. Why are you at one? Boah! <laughs> why? Like these are distance one, so it's not this. This would only reset the sequence anyway, back to zero. Just like as if I press E on this right here. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I hooked it up. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Okay, we'll worry about the repeating sequence later. I don't actually think it's the jump that's um, triggering the sensors. It was just my terrible wiring. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright. So. Let's uh, replace my sensor. Yep. I'm bad at this game. Uh, is that what I want? No, I want the sensor to this one. Alright. Try again. Let's go. Oh! Oh! So close! So close! So the toy itself has, like, uh, a little bit of a wide stance. I might have to add that to this. All right, one flip successful and sequences reset. So, can I actually add this to here? Is that allowed? Am I allowed to do that? No, I'm not allowed to do that because as Lego Freak said, it is the jump. The jump's activating the sequence all over again. So I want to wait until it's actually landed. Now, how do I do that? The answer is... I don't know. <laughs> the answer is I don't know. Oh, uh, I do know. I do know. We're gonna do... The lazy solution. Which is... Just like a bunch of logic gates. 
And then if this one... If this one activates this one and this one, then restart the sequence. So, it, it like, it's a condition that'll only be met when it's on the ground for a longer time, which... also means it automatically starts. There we go. It didn't start automatically again, which is exactly what I was looking for. Because the time that it takes... Excuse me. Excuse me, you are both on. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Okay, sensor works, sequence is zero. Why don't you work? What? What? Like this logic gate's not even on, oh, oh, it's because, oh, I can't actually use this. Not for this anyway. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well that that was a good solution for Wait, no, maybe that's exactly what I wanted. Is it? Is it what I wanted? I don't know. I don't know what I want. Yeah, this is exactly what I want. <laughs> I was like... Uh, just because I expected it to automatically start. Oh wait, and then it doesn't... Restart. Oh, that's my problems, my problems. I for... Okay, I did, this is not what I want. <laughs> I just don't know what I want. Okay, so this and this. Yeah, excuse me, I'm trying to I'm trying to work on you. And this and this. You know, there's probably a way easier way of doing this. Okay, you start. You know, just like making sure is sequence not one. Oh, 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 ah! Oh, almost landed it. Now it's just gonna do a twitch. But hey, now it automatically starts, and it should repeat itself if it lands. Hey, there you go. Oh, oh, okay. That was a little bit of a weird twitch, but it did it. It did it. So how many consecutive flips can we get? Hey, there you go. That's that's two flips in a row. Oh, that's not going to be a flip. <laughs> nope. All right. What happens now if I... For example, add some weight in the back. Some junk in the trunk. If you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a little bit too much, I think. We'll add it, um, we'll add it, like, right here. And just, like, a, a little line of four. Oh, oh, it, whoa, whoa! 
Lucky, so it like, really doesn't like being off balance like that. Maybe. Maybe we'll add a couple on the top, sort of the top middle, which is like right above where the feet are pushing off the ground, the back feet. Okay, it doesn't seem to affect it too much. Still though, why is it like crazy much higher than I thought it was going to be? Oh, you know what? I could probably lower the power a little bit. But I don't know. I don't know. Because then if I lower the power, then I'm going to have to extend the arms. Let's try even more weight. Derf, thou must be reading the chat. I, I am, I read the chat. Whoa, whoa, there, you got a little bit too. That was way too quick. I could move the sensor like one block further up. Yeah, this is not gonna jump because it's. Oh, oh, wait, maybe it is. Hey, that was a good landing. There's two. There's three. Oh, and you're not gonna you just you just gave up. You're done. I don't know why that happened. That was a weird quirk. Four and you're done. Alright, so one more thing that I could do... I mean, the weight seems fine. Right here, and here. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, like, glitch things out too much. But I want that to compress, like, fully. Uh, I mean, it sort of does. Well, that just kind of ruined things. I wonder if that's because of, like, the, the steering glitch the suspensions sort of have. Yeah, that's not... It's not compressing quite enough. No, that just ruins it because the grr, 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 the suspensions. Why do you do this to me? I could put, you know, I could just rebuild the the back legs. But I Do I want to put suspensions like before the sensors? I don't know if that's actually a good idea. Dare to make the dog wear PewDiePie merch. No. No, instead what I will do, you know, I'll do a face reveal if PewDiePie reaches 90... What is he at right now? Yeah, if, if PewDiePie reaches 90 million subscribers during this stream, I'll do a face reveal. That's the best that I can offer. Don't use suspensions, just to lower the center of mass. I mean, okay, I could put weights. Oh wait, I can't put them here, can I? Put them on the outside. So then let's not put these on the top then. Let's see what this does. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, no. I mean, we'll try again. Maybe that was just a weird fluke, but... It seems as though weight on the legs, yeah, completely ruins it. Completely ruins the, t the rotation. Hold on. We could also crank up the power, too. Let's try cranking up the power or the speed. What is this? This is speed. Power should be fine. It's the speed that needs to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I really could have just painted it purple. Alright, hopefully he doesn't get sent off into oblivion. Is that a double backflip? <laughs> Is that a double backflip? What do you know? Oh my god. I just built a super dog toy. Alright, let's, um... <laughs> let's reduce that power, I think. Or... More weight! Give him these, like, little booties. We just tripled the weight. Oh, that is... He still do... Okay, that's... <laughs> the, the weight, um... Yeah, the weight makes the point of rotation, like, right at his ankles. That's not exactly... Not exactly good. Alright, remove the weight. The landing's not any better either, so... Let's put it back down. And then let's also put it down... 100, and see... Like, I might have also just ruined... I might have completely ruined the power. Yeah. Yeah, no. So I, ended, I either need to fiddle with the, um... Fiddle with the length of the legs. Or just leave this at 500 power. All right. Is that a little bit more power? And we'll see how it goes from here. <laughs> All right. I didn't think that that was going to work. Five fifty power, it that's even less. What? That was like it was less power, but I added more. Hello, Julian, how's it going? There we go, that's a good flip. That was a perfect flip. I think I found the perfect power level. See now the the other problem is that I, I kinda wanted to fiddle with the sensor position. Oh come on! See that's why I was putting uh, that's why I wanted to put, um... Suspensions on the feet. Alright, alright. Oh, 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 ah! Oh, you just ruined yourself. Hmm. There might be one more adjustment that I want to make. Okay, okay.
We have... Let's just, like, stick on a, a couple of extra logic gates on this side as well. Oh, wait, we have the engine here, too. Okay, so let's remove these two and add... Oh, no, wait, we don't need this one because this one's up here. I think... I think I balanced the weight? I don't know. We shall find out. I just don't want it to like twist in the air. What, what, what is that? What is that? It's too much. That is way too much. Try again with spring, but a little more stiff, stiffen it up. Like this is way too much flipping now. How, how did adding more make it flip more? It's consistently failing now. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I, I guess I'll lower the power back down. And then it's twisting all of a sudden. But hey, it, 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 it never mind. I <laughs> got my hopes up. Let's try that again. Like, this is nowhere close to being ready for a terrain world. Okay. Landed once. We're set up great for the next jump, too. Landed twice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got set up for the next jump. Oh, ah. Oh. Alright, alright. So let's work on the next uh, adjustment that I want to make. Which is... Uh, first, let's, where are these sensors connected? They're connected to this AND gate. Okay. So yeah, they're connected to this AND gate and the two ends of this AND gate. Okay, got it. So we're going to cut these legs right here and here. And here and here. Okay, so I still have all of the information for these legs preserved. Because I didn't remove the bearing. Um, I'm just going to use a simple controller for this. can't put it there. I have to put it in the back. Um. Problem. Problem. I am too short. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, hey, Con. I do not look at chat often. Dude, there's a there's an argument going on in my chat about it's the front legs or the back legs, and it's like... 
I, you know what? I have a thumbnail and everything showing everyone how they're wrong all the time. Even the people that are right. All right, so to the blue direction, blue, uh, blue, okay. So we're gonna angle this. That's also gonna ruin its jump too. Ugh, I, I probably need another smart controller. Probably need another smart controller for this as well. Let's just try 15. Yeah, I could put it in like a switch mode. So that it only extends out when it when it uh, wants to land a jump. But hopefully this doesn't ruin everything. Wow, it's actually going forward a lot. I think the record is four consecutive backflips. Oh, you know what? I didn't connect. Hold on. All right. So it should have an easier time landing now. But I think uh, because I widened the stance, it's reducing the power of the jump. It's also doing this weird, like, forward thing, which it didn't used to do. Uh, so let's increase the... Let's increase the power again. All right, that was a, you know, it's also, I think moving forward is also a little bit of a bonus, to be honest. Beautiful. Oh, oh, okay. Beautiful. The wider stance is definitely helping it. Uh, <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> Jeez. Like, I knew, I knew the toughest part about this challenge was going to be the scrap mechanic physics. But come on. Durf, don't bend its legs out. Just give it some pause. Like, now it's consistently bad. How does that work? We'll just, like, walk for a little bit. Less turn for forward legs. I mean, I could try that, I guess. Which one is that? One, two? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's, that's one. That is, oh my god. <laughs> He's doing some weird stuff. How, okay, how is this an argument, you guys? Why, <laughs> why is it front legs or back legs? I don't understand. Maybe I'll just make it do, you know, side flips and it'll be, no, then the just, the argument's then just gonna be left side or right side. That'll just be a whole new problem. Like, what even is that? Why are you doing a 360? Oh my god, Scrap Mechanic. Why are you doing this to me? So I think ever since I... Uh, ever since I added the bearings, it's gotten a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. Less consistent. So let's backtrack a little bit. We're removing the controller. We're gonna weld this sucker, these legs, right back on. The way I had them before. Or I might just like build a different solution. Like I might build a wider body next time.
Okay. Oh, I just... Whatever. Eh. Okay. Connect the sensors. And I'll be good to go. Okay, a little twitchy, that makes me concerned. Wow, um, okay. Right, this is back, I, I didn't uh, lower the power back down. Okay, there we go. Con's gone. I know, right, what an ingrateful friend doesn't watch my stream from start to finish when he probably has other things to do oh doesn't flip if I don't uh, tell it to right I'm joking by the way he's probably lurking or something maybe maybe you're right maybe he's also Waiting for my stream to end so that he can stream? Who knows? Okay, there we go. That was a good landing. Was that... Oh, okay. No, no, no. Tch. Remember when I said that was a good landing? There we go. Uh, ba-ja, ba da ba da Add sensors in the front. Maybe. That is a maybe. Okay. Okay. I don't know. It's almost like I got the wiring wrong. Like it's not supposed to be having those twitches. Let's go ahead and try it. Um, I should really make my life easier. And instead of using all of these... Because I have extra logic gates on this thing to quote-unquote balance it out. Why don't I just use one of those? Then we'll just connect that to everything that it needs to be connected to. Like so. Okay. Now the physics will be even better because it's not landing on blocks. It's some sensor part that has different collision. Hey, that's actually a little bit better though. It has to settle down a little bit more before it does the next flip. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's two backflips. And then it just gave up. It's supposed to... Ugh, why? It's like it already did it. I need it to be longer. I need it to be more time. So we're gonna just use up all the logic gates. That aren't used up. 
for even more time. I mean, I could use a timer, I guess, but there's like some, the, the timer works uh, in like a weird way. Really what I want is, you know, I suppose I could use a timer. Durf, for the love of all that is good, give that poor thing some pause. Uh, this is a prototype. I don't think pause are gonna help. I mean, it might. What does everybody, uh, what does everybody in chat think? Use actual timer? Give it some pause? <laughs> do, I, do I do good things, or... All right. Is a paw. All right, so that those are all paws. Don't need this. Or this, or this. Or this, or this. And that. And now I just put it in the timer. And we'll set the number of ticks to, uh... Something like that. So all four sensors have to be on for that number of ticks consecutively. It still doesn't it still doesn't activate the thing because it's just a tick button. Alright. Now how does the pause how did the pause affect Oh lovely. Oh lovely. You guys are so smart with your put pause on it. Like this isn't even the final version. You just you just made me experience trauma. Not only is it uh, no longer balanced. Oh my god, it is so much worse. <laughs> it's so much worse. Alright. This is going to be a nightmare to build like an actual dog model. How is this worse? Like, I guess it's just not enough power. No, to the people saying add suspension, it, you, you weren't here for that, clearly. Derf, make lighter pause. Uh, okay. Ultra lightweight block, let's do this. So it adds practically no weight to the bottom. And we'll give the structural support for the landing. Now the problem is going to be that I, I added, I upped the power, the engine power. So now it's going to flip too much. 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely too much. But that's not a problem. That's less of a problem than before. We can just lower that. Okay, okay. The timer's working pretty good. That was one jump. Yeah, you know, as long as we beat the record of four, I think, yeah, you know, power could probably be up a little bit. Like, if it's consistently landing on its front paws, which it's not, so... Maybe I should leave the power as is. Okay, that's four jumps. And it gave up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> why? Derf tryout suspension. No, no, I already did tryout suspension. It went horribly. See, if I put suspension on the legs, the things that it's trying to jump with, the, the suspensions are too glitchy. I can't do that. Doesn't work. Durf, make a spud gun mod. Um, excuse you. What do you think? What do you, what do you think all these, uh... Where are they? What do you think all these custom weapons are? Popcorn on the cob launcher, the cannons, the cucumber crossbow. What do you think those are? Durf, try shorter legs. That's not, no, that's not gonna help. The longer legs is what I need. I either need super long legs, uh, or short legs and a short body, and fast engine speed. Like, there's a lot of things to balance to just make this work. Yeah, the pause on bearing and invert, invert, uh, with the leg movement. Tell you what, tell you what, if we don't finish this flipping dog this stream, I'll upload it to the workshop and you guys can try all of your suggestions. First person to make it work gets a prize. Alright, that's one jump. I just want to beat the record of four. Two jumps? Okay. Two jumps. I knew, I knew Scrap Mechanic Physics was gonna be... I knew it was gonna be the problem. Lego Freak says, I made one myself. What, you already made a flipping dog? Did you make that, like, just now? Get out of town, dude. You made it in like 10 minutes. Send me the workshop link right now. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are way better than I am at this game. Is that even using mod parts? Or is it just vanilla? Well, you're using polygons, but... Is that just like a controller? You're not using, yeah, you're not using any smart logic like I'm trying to be all smart here. Trying to make a reliable way. Mm. 
Man, I've gone through the nightmare of trying to make this work, and it, like, half works. And you spent ten minutes and made something way more reliable. And, by the way, he's using the back legs. He's bending the back legs, not the front legs. It uses a smart controller engine. Oh, okay. But yeah, if you uh, if you upload it to the workshop and send me the link, I'll show everyone on the stream here how like Lego Freak, you're insane. Come on, I can't. I can never get four jumps. Dude, I can't even get one jump. Okay, if you want, if you, you, you guys, like, if you think the back legs is the thing that's making this happen, or not happen, I should say, then I shall show you. What am I showing you? Uh, it's not speed. It's just it. How is this? Oh. Okay, well, let's get rid of the speed. We'll keep the angle at um, zero. We'll disconnect the back engine and connect this spare engine that I had. So that'll just keep the front legs locked in place. And you'll see. Holy moly! <laughs> Alright, lower the power. Let's lower the power. Who knows, this might work. Also, while wow, this is flipping. Okay, that was still too much. But, Lego Freak sent me the- yes, he sent me the link. Still, I want to see how lowering the power on this thing works. Oh my god, it's just- it's too much. How is this too much? Like, I must have reduced the power by, like, a couple hundred already. Okay, now it's not enough. That, uh... That logic gate down there gonna start causing some problems but you know what it's all right it's all right okay okay so that was three flips and immediately ah <sighs> all right hold, give me a sec Somebody doesn't know how to make a steam link. <laughs> so I have to do it. Uh. 
Okay. You stay there. Flipping dog, no paint, buy Lego Freak. This is what he built in 10 minutes. Took him 10 minutes to build this. Does it do more than four flips? Like, I, I don't even have to press anything. Or do I? Is it alright? Like, it looks so cute already. I guess I have to press it. It doesn't automatically flip, does it? Oh, wait, it does. Oh, and it doesn't do... What, what's going on? What's going on? It, it can't, can't do as many flips as that one? Lego Freak. You got some splaining to do. Okay, there's two. There's three. That's pretty good. Will it beat the world record for dog flips? Four. Oh my god, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh my god. That is just incredible. All right, all right. Let's give this guy, let's give my big boy over here another chance at the world record. He was doing pretty good. That is already terrible. Oh my god, but no, no, he's not going to land it. All right. Let's give you another try. Press. <laughs> okay, okay. Serious. Okay. That was one good flip. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. I mean, it's better than the half flip that this guy did. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to make this a challenge. I mean, not like a challenge mode challenge, but like a challenge to all of you guys. First person. The, re the current record's four flips and being able to land it. What was that? That was one already or two? I wasn't paying attention. We'll say one. Just to be safe. That's two. And it doesn't... Doesn't want to, uh... Doesn't want to do it again. Alright, uh, what's this logic gate for? It is... For the tick button. And if it's equal to one, if it's equal to one. You know what? We'll just make my life simple and stick another logic gate right here to balance his butt out. All right. So we'll try this guy again. But yeah, anyone, uh, which mods? Okay, well, you can use whichever mods you want, I think. But the point is to build a contraption that doesn't use any thrusters or reaction wheels. What kind of a flip was that? That was garbage. Did adding that one logic gate to balance out his butt actually break him? Did I just butt break my dog? I think I might have. So let's go up the power a little bit again. Yeah, uh, I'm using just the mod pack. Uh, I had the mod pack polygons loaded so that I could eventually build something that looks like a dog. Although I am using some of the ultra light blocks for the feet, which seem to be coming in handy for me. What's that? That's two? It, now it's like doing some weird... Like it's, it's back flipping for an audience, turning around all sorts of directions. 
three. If it actually goes in a circle, that would be another added bonus. Four. Okay, four. Here it comes. I'm pretty sure that's four, right? Unless I'm incorrect and that was only three. But here's five. Oh, okay. There we go. We got some five. Uh, I might have to move this dog out of the way real quick. Six. It is like slowly moving in a circle backwards. Because there's like some slight uh, weight differences between the left and right side. Seven. Okay, I think I got something actually consistent here. Definitely. Definitely beats the world record for dog flips. Eight. Nine. Oh my god, is it just gonna keep on going? Oh no, it just gave up. Okay, it gave up after nine. <laughs> That's more of a logic wiring thing, so. Alright. Let's try Lego Freaks again. I think the new record is nine flips. Nine flips and landing. Durf, have it start flipping again when the four sensors detect the ground. What? Dude, have you been watching? I've been streaming for an hour and a half. There are sensors on his feet. I don't... What? What? g g g g g all right, let's start Lego Freaks. That was one. That was a beautiful flip, too. And his dog, you know, he's got... He definitely has the uh, winning vote for best-looking dog in the show. He's so cute. Even without the paint, he's so cute. What was that, two? Three? Two or three? I, I lose count so easily because I'm looking at... He's so cute! It was four or five. So, like, this... He, did my scrap mechanic just, like, stabilize all of a sudden? Five or six? Six or seven? Seven or eight? Oh, my. He's, he's going for the world record. Eight or nine... I died. I've not been counting. Nine or ten. I think that's it. I think. I think that's it. It's matched the record. Does he actually beat it? And he does. Oh my god. Lego Freak's dog has the new world record for the most flips. Oh, he almost lost it there. I'm pretty sure that's like 11 flips. 12 flips. I don't know if he's going to stop. Thirteen flips. I yeah, he's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop at all. Fourteen flips. Amazing. Fifteen flips. I, I like. I kind of want to, you know, build this dog up a little bit so it actually has two ears instead of one ear. But then that would mess with the weight and stuff. I, unless I loaded in the mod pack polygons ultra light, then I might be able to build on it a little bit. Let's see if I can give this dog a little bit of a paint job while while it's jumping. Um, the the actual jumping dog toy, at least the one that I am basing this off of, is like a beige dog, right? So let's just paint it. Completely beige to start. My god, look at this world record dog. It's, it's also, like, not really stopping it from jumping by painting it. You'd think it would with Scrap Mechanic being all, you know, having its problems. As a very light color. I don't... I think I actually wanted, like, a, a brown? No. Let's keep it beige. But we're gonna give it some white little pawsies. 
He's so cute. Well, that is not where I intended to paint it, but I think it's fine. I think a white tick button shouldn't be a problem. It might, though. I don't know. Uh, it does have, like, a brown... ear thing. This is also, like, a different dog breed. No! <laughs> oh, oh, I think it finally stopped. No, never mind. It just corrected itself. Dude, this dog is a, a, a champ. I don't even know if this is how the dog looks. I'm just sort of like... Taking some artistic liberties here. Okay, we're gonna give it like a little bit of a, a oh my god I would really appreciate it if you <laughs> wouldn't flip while I'm trying to paint you but at the same time I can't be mad at you look at you you're so cute oh no no that's still oh I see what you did there Oh, the design of this dog is perfect. Because, like, even if it misses the jump, it'll still prep itself for the next jump. Like, it can land on its tail and still... The tail! If I add a tail to that thing, maybe it'll be actually work. I don't know. But this design is, like, spot on, dude. Shout out to Lego Freak, the absolute dog flipping winner completely nullifies the point of having a contest on my channel because he just complete completely obliterates the competition before there even is one and a little black snout now that that kind of looks dumb yeah see what I mean even if he like sort of misses the jump he'll still be ready for the next one all right, I think the only thing left to do is just paint the bottom. Well, I also have cats that are meowing at me. All right, I think that's a good, I think that's a nice paint job, but you know, what we could do for a competition is have everyone, have everyone get to their uh, Lego Freaks flipping dog, no paint. Add a saddle and ride it. I could totally do that. Here we go. Um. I hope it's going the right way. It is going the right way. Cool. <laughs> cool. It doesn't seem to affect the jumping too bad. That is amazing. So yeah, something that we could do, I don't know if I'm ever gonna make a video on it, like uh, I'll just probably leave it at, at this uh, live stream because my flipping dog failed miserably, but congratulations to Lego Freak. Uh, but if everybody wants to go to Lego Freak's flipping dog creation, flipping dog no paint, I think he called it on the workshop, uh, definitely upvote the crap out of that. But uh, download it give, it, give it a paint job and maybe send in some pictures on my Discord or something. If we get, like, a lot of cool different doggy paint jobs, then, uh, you know, maybe I'll do another video of all the different flipping dogs and we'll see which paint job flips the best, which is a completely arbitrary and pointless competition to have. But still, you know, it'd be nice to see all the different kinds of paint jobs that you could give this little doggy. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I think, uh... <laughs> I, I Yeah, I don't think there's anything left for me to do, really. Lego Freak just absolutely killed 
my stream idea. There's no way that I'm going to build something as good as this. And, you know, it took me an hour and 40 minutes to figure that one out. It took him 10 minutes. Looks like a horse. You know, some dogs are like horses. Like Great Danes. They're huge. They're huge animals. Are you... Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Fantastic build again, Lego Freak. I'm completely amazed that this is still going. It like it, it boggles my mind because I was struggling over there for so long. But yeah, if you guys um, sorry for showing up. No, no, don't don't be sorry at all. I'm actually quite pleased with this result. Quite pleased indeed. But yeah, if you guys want to give this a paint job, yeah, this is the end of the stream. So if you guys want to give this a paint job, send in your pictures or links in the Discord. Uh, maybe I'll do like another dog flipping competition video. Well, we'll have all the dogs side by side flipping and we'll see how it is. But uh, no, I'm, I'm going to leave it here, folks. Uh, I'm going to go edit some videos that I already have recorded. And I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. I'll do another stream in the afternoon. What, 100 flips now? I know, right? So yeah, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!